Now, in the first week of March, when Ghana started seeing its first cases of COVID-19, the U.S. had also started recording theirs. Ghana's case count now stands at a little over 8,548 cases and 38 deaths, while the U.S. has over 1.8 million cases and 100,000 plus deaths. Though the two countries cannot be compared, there are many who wonder why Ghana seems to have done so well so far, especially with its relatively low death rate. Lava firm's Chris C. Debra speaks with KNUSD virologist and immunologist Dr. Mohamed Mutichela for some answers. We were told by June everything is going to be over, but we are in June and over 30 million population is in the pink of health. We have about 7,000 confirmed cases, over 2,000 recoveries, and a little over 30 deaths. Calculate the case fatalities. So, why are we not dying? Is it the sun? Is it our genes or the environment? I'm going to speculate from immunological point of view, and I'll come to um, environmental. Now, from the immunological point of view, people in Ghana or Sub-Saharan Africa, their immune system is already on the alert. When we compare to the outside world, these, they do get viral infections all right, like when the flu season comes. But comparatively, they have, their, their, their immune system is exposed to less or fewer types of infections. Then the other factors are environmental. So in Europe and America, they live in massive buildings. So you have to go through the escalator, you have to go through the lifts. The environment is, the, the weather is cold, so the virus survives for more time. And then the probability that one will pick it up during the lifts or going up is so high. If you look at their apartment, they live in tower blocks. We don't live that way in this country, although people live in compound houses. It's just exposed to the environment, it, the dryness. The virus doesn't thrive much in dry conditions. And then they also have a larger population of aged. In Africa, the people you are seeing living at the moment, like you and I and the rest, are naturally selected because our health system is so fragile that it's more or less like survival of the fittest. Up there in the UK, the, the Europe, and then North America, they have a very good health system. So a lot of people survive. If they were here in Africa, they would have died by now. So when pandemics comes like that, these people who I would put not, not, not very strong naturally or immunologically, you know, are susceptible. And then we also have the smoking population. You know, this is a respiratory disease. So you have a huge or very good number of the people smoke. And smoke naturally weakens the, the lung tissues. So it's, when people get these infections, it kills them quicker. April and May were all bark and no bite. This and others were perhaps crucial in this fight. You must always try to mask up. Always try to mask up. Oh, lucky. My name is Chrissy Deborah for joining us.